Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, my channel. Today I am doing a simple, easy drugstore fall makeup look. With so many makeup brands out there, I know it can be overwhelming when it comes to choosing brands, choosing products, and still keeping it budget friendly, affordable. So I hope that this tutorial, this video will break it down for you to highlight some brands that really does make amazing products all on a budget. Alright guys, I'm starting with my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Water Gel Moisturizer. You know with fall approaching, your skin tends to get dried out, so you need a moisturizer to give you enough moisture, but still light enough to not disturb the makeup over top. So this is my preference at the moment. I will also recommend you use a sunscreen even in the cooler months, but let's face it, I'm not really going anywhere today, so I'm just going to move straight to the primers. And I'm going to be using my Angel Bill Primer and my CoverGirl True Blend Primer today. This one is just gonna, it's a light, it's like, it's a soft and matte finish. And I choose my primers based on my foundation most of the time, because I'm very particular as to the primers and stuff that I use. I like something to give me a nice balance at the same time. So the foundation I'm using is something of a satin finish, so this is just gonna balance everything. I'm just adding a little of the CoverGirl one. This is a pore minimizing one. I'm just applying it in areas where I have the larger pores. Now for my trusty, trusty foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I love this foundation so much. I did speak about it in my um, products I'm loving at the moment. I will link it in the iCard so you can check it out. Now I'm just going over with my sponge to blend this in and to remove any brush strokes or anything to give me a smoother finish. This foundation is like bomb, you guys. Please check out my video products I'm loving at the moment so I'm trying to flame in natural lighting but oh my god it's like fucking up it's going south very fast so let me do my lights because uh, this light is playing me do you see how it's like getting darker and lighter like right now it's fine should I continue all right guys so i am back with my lighting like i am not trying this natural lighting thing again unless i have extremely huge windows in front of me it's just not loving me so this foundation is like the bomb every time i use it i'm just like blown away by how beautifully makes my skin look i just love this foundation so much my cousin loved when I said I just love this foundation so fucking much <laughs> Sonia this is for you <laughs> so for concealer I'm using my NYX can't stop won't stop concealer do I have the right shade with me mm. I'm using sort of a red color to help color um, correct the discoloration underneath my eyes and just for a little bit of extra coverage because I find that the Sometimes your concealer can tend to just disappear a little bit, at least on me. So I like doing this for extra coverage and to help minimize the darkness underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna take uh, one that's a little bit lighter in um, the shade Warm Honey and apply that underneath my eyes just for a little extra highlight. Because the first one I used was kind of red. And this concealer is very comparable to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's like I ran out of this one too. I'm scraping the two, literally. Mm. I like blending the center of my face with the brush. I'm just gently pressing underneath my eyes and I'm just taking the excess and go over my eyes, my eyelids with it to help cover any discoloration, just to give make everything look smooth and uniform. You know, this is like a simple fall look for me. By no means, if you feel like there are way too much steps for you, by no means you have to do all that I did. But for me, it's a simple, very simple routine. But you can remove some of it. You know, you don't have to do everything I'm doing. When I'm applying, I'm using my, sorry, <laughs> I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte um, Powder Foundation. It fell and broke. What's new? And when I'm applying it, I like looking like up. I like lifting my mirror higher than my eyes and lifting up and apply a little bit underneath my eyes. This way, 
when you do that if you have problems with creasing when you look up like this all the creases sort of disappear and you set that in place so when you look down you don't see any creasing because it's already set and i like using this powder just for extra coverage to bring a little more highlight underneath my eyes and to set the rest of my face i'm using the jcat um lux pro banana powder i transferred it in this jar because the packaging sucks i'm picking up on my sponge and i'm just tapping the back of my hand to get the excess off and i'm doing the same thing i'm looking up and i'm pressing it underneath my eyes You know, like in the fall, the weather is cooler, it's drier. You don't really need a lot of powders. Like you don't need to go baking and stuff because your face pretty much stays put when you apply your makeup. At least mine does because my skin is more combination dry. And in the winter time, the cooler months, it gets, um, it tends to just be a little more dehydrated. So I tend to go in with less powders around those times. But I like applying powders because it helps my other products that I go with over top to layer smoother and gives me a nicer finish in the end i'm just taking this large fluffy brush and i'm just gently pressing some of the powder to just lock everything down in place i don't know for you but a lot of my routines that i do when it comes to my skin and my makeup it really just does change in the fall the cooler month yo i love fall so much fall is my favorite season of all time i love to be cool if you love fall comment down below for a little color to my face i'm taking my black radiance um true complexion quantum palette and i'm using the shade deep to dark but i'm only taking the sculpting shade right here and apply a little bit of this in the areas where i want to look more sunken in this one is just a little bit too dark for me so i'm just gonna apply this one first we feel like it came off a little bit patchy. I'm gonna fix that later. I'm just applying some underneath my chin, my jawline, so that the 20 pounds I gain does not show on camera. <laughs> Add a little nose contour. If you guys want to see an in depth nose contour, let me know and I'll do that for you. This just gives me the appearance of a slimmer nose bring structure back to your skin oh my god my skin looks so good oh my god i'm feeling i'm gonna take my bh cosmetics blush palette in nude blush Ooh. and i'm gonna take uh, the shades what shades am i gonna use i'm gonna mix this one and this one and apply it to my cheeks since i'm not going in with much shadows today i'm just gonna add a little bit of this right to the tails of my brows it just makes it look nice and ties everything together and i'm just gonna take the excess and go over my chin it doesn't really add much color but it looks nice your skin just looks alive you know so another thing i do to add depth just to add a little something to my eyes and to just make everything look more uniform in my face i use the same palette that i use to contour to bronze my face and i'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush like this tap off the excess and I'm just going to apply this in my crease just to give the eyes just a little more definition like when you are in a rush this is what you need to be doing you can use your bronzers and your contours and just apply this in your crease and be out the door and you can also amp it up like add something to your lid add a wing like you know if you feel like you have a little more extra time the whole point of this video is to what keeps it simple is the fact that you're using like minimal products to achieve a look you're not going with a lot of products because a lot of the times um it's the amount of products we are using that time consuming when you have so much different um steps in your makeup routine i like buffing it like really low i like a low bottom lash i like to smoke it out i like the look of that Okay, time for my brows and i'm taking my maybelline tattoo studio in 376 medium brow and i'm gonna brush my hairs upwards i'm not gonna be doing much with my brows because i like my brows looking more natural on those natural days makeup looks 
and to be honest that's just my preference look honestly like every day i can wear looks like these every single day so i'm just gonna fill in the sparse areas in my brows and then i'm gonna take my spoolie and comb that through i love this this um brow product because it's very waxy it really is like a tattoo so um i don't feel like you necessarily have to set your brow hairs in place with that like it stays it keeps your brows hairs in place all day so that's my natural look i mean if you're someone who has more issues with your brows you could fill in your brows and just do what what your preference is i always say makeup is about preference i already have thick brows so i'm just not gonna be doing anything crazy to it for my natural look so I mostly focus on the tail of my brows. I put, I, I didn't put any product to the front of my brows. This is just gonna give you the a look of a real, real natural brows, even though there is product in there. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna set my face. Um, I like to do that before I actually go with mascaras and stuff like that to prevent it from smudging. So I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut Three in One Primer Water. I'm also gonna take my sponge and just tap in the product when it's like halfway dry then i'm also going to go in with l'oreal shake and glow dew mist but i'm going to apply this to the sides of my face it's a very light mist and even though it says dew it's not like crazy dew you know i feel like my skin type can appreciate that i mean if you're extremely oily i won't advise you use such products so i always like applying my setting sprays and stuff before I actually go in with my highlight because it just takes away the powder and makes your highlight pop even more and for highlights I'm using my wet and wild loose um, highlight <laughs> in hustle and glow and just going to the tops of my cheek nothing crazy and run that underneath my brow as well I mean if you want something a little more intense you could spritz your brush with the same setting spray that I just that I just use or whatever setting spray you're using. I'm just applying some of it to my nose as well. I'm also gonna apply the same highlight in the inner corners of my eyes. Mascara. Another thing I like looking way up in the heavens to apply because I always tend to get mascara everywhere on my eyes. I'm just using my um, Essence Last Princess for that. I'm gonna apply my lip liner I'm using BFF3 by Colourpop and the color spicy these are some of my favorite colors to wear when fall is around the corner and then I'm gonna go over top with a little gloss from e.l.f. so OCD I always wipe <laughs> the applicator off before I actually put it back into this it changes the color and makes it look so cocky and gunky so I went ahead and applied my favorite bottom lash mascara and my fall look is ready to go So that's my simple fall makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something that I draw some more light, more attention to some other affordable drugstore brands out there. I know makeup can be very overwhelming, but that's what I'm here for, to signify that for you. Now, hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. Everything I use will be in the description box, so be sure to check that out. I am also a nail tech and a makeup artist out here in Brooklyn. All the links to my social media platform and how to book me will be in the description box. So follow me on my, on my platforms and see my work. Book me, all that good stuff. Also like, comment and share, subscribe, hit the bell, everything to help me grow here on this platform and make the millions that I one day intend to reach. So until then, let's continue to touch the wall one face at a time and I'll see you in my next tutorial next week.